Blood Raining Night, Chapter 2, Tears of Rain. Rachel got home. It took a while for the impact of her father coming back. God, these typos are gonna fucking kill me one day. Coming back to soak in. She was hot red with anger and sadness. She decided to train in the garden with her teacher, Inuyasha. He wasn't full cat demon like Reitru, but he was also part dog demon. They both had fangs and sharp animal-like eyes, and in those eyes were a hint of love for Rei. Oh, she's one of these... characters. Rei, John, he said. I've been waiting a long time for you. How did the battle go? My dead father. He is back! Her face collapsed in her hands and she nearly cried. Sounds painful. To have like your whole entire face just collapse in on itself like that. How can he be back? He's dead. No, he's back. I don't know what to do. Maybe I can get our master the Yakuza to kill him. She had a tear roll down the side of her sad cheeks. Her and Inuyasha both work for the Yakuza and she thought he might be able to frame her dad. I don't know if that'll be allowed. His ears twitched. Then I'll have to kill him myself. Her eyes were red with madness like blood on fire. Don't know if blood's flammable, have to look that up later. Inuyasha didn't want her to get hurt, he was worried. He couldn't tell her though, because he didn't want her to know his feelings for him. Rachel is now a guy. Please, he said. Don't go, he'll kill you. She looked at him bravely. I'll be fine. That night he went home. Denmark was sitting on the couch next to the fire. He was reading a book very intensely. I see you're home, Rayfoon. Yeah, I'm home, Denny Coon, she sighed. I saw you talking to Inuyasha. I think you should get a different tutor, like Kagome or Germany. They're both so good at wars and fighting. Why? Are you jealous? You don't have to be, I swear. I'd never cheat on you. I love you. Their eyes told each other that something was wrong, but they both ignored it. They decided to just go to bed instead of saying anything. They cuddled together and did some other stuff. Then they fell asleep, and as they slept, her dad was watching. So, like, was he watching the other stuff, too? Because I don't know about that, but that sounds a little illegal. Why am I trying to put logic into this story? It never works.